from Studio 113 in Walson Hall, this is NBC News. Hello everybody and welcome to NBC News. We're your hosts, Ashley Amadeo and Alyssa Kratz. So Alyssa, what do you think about the selection coming up? It's coming up one week from today. I know. have to say, no comment. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> so, do you want to tell us about the news? I would love to. Pirates of Penzance will continue to run this week. The main stage production, directed by Charles Richter and choreographed by Samuel Antonio Reyes, is playing in empty theater until Sunday, November 6th. The hilarious comic opera will run on Thursday, November 3rd, Friday, November 4th, and Saturday, November 5th at 8 p.m. and will conclude with a matinee performance on Sunday, November 6th at 2 p.m. From theater to dance, MP will be a packed house through the beginning of this month. Right after Pirates ends, the seats will be filled for Moving Stories, the first main stage dance performance of the semester. Directed by Megan Flynn, Moving Stories features dance as storytelling, including a variety of performances from Muhlenberg students. The production will take place from Thursday, November 10th through Saturday, November 12th. All three days will have an 8 p.m. showtime. There will also be a 2 o'clock show on the 12th. Tickets are available online or in the box office. On Friday, there will be a Diwali celebration in the Seegers event space, sponsored by the Asian Students Association. Diwali, also known as the Festival of Lights, is one of the most important holidays in the Indian culture, marking the triumph of light over darkness and the victory of good over evil. The event is set to take place from 7 to 10 on Friday night. There will be free food, mango lussies, and a handful of live performances by your favorite Muhlenberg dance teams and a cappella groups. There will be a campus-wide bonfire this upcoming Saturday from 8 to 11 on the library lawn. There will be live music, food, and drink, including beer and wine for students who are 21 and over. You will be required to show your Muhlenberg student ID in order to be served alcohol. Less than one week until we have to cast our votes for the next president of the United States. An election night party is set to take place next Tuesday, November 8th at 8 o'clock in the Red Door. Students are encouraged to come out, enjoy some pizza, and watch the results of this historic election come in with friends and colleagues. Now over to Ashley with sports. Thanks, Alyssa. The Muhlenberg football team set multiple records this Saturday in its triumph against Dickinson, winning 72-7. to The Mules set a school and Centennial Conference record for points in a quarter, scoring 35 in the first. The team also tied a Centennial Conference mark with 48 points in just the first half. Senior quarterback Nick Palladino threw for 130 yards and rushed for 18, becoming the Centennial Conference all-time leader. He now has 10,783 career yards of total offense. Junior running back Nick Savant and senior wide receiver Nick Lamb can also put their name in the record books. Savant finished the game with five rushing touchdowns and 166 yards on only 11 carries. Lamb caught seven passes to become the all-time leader with 174 career receptions. On the defensive side of the ball, the Mules first forced four turnovers, including an interception and punt block by senior John Feaster. The Mules will look to keep their winning streak going when they take on your sinus this Saturday, November 5th at home. The Lady Mules soccer team also recorded a victory against your sinus on senior night. Freshman midfielder Alyssa Rose contributed to the Mules offense with only the only goal in the seventh minute. Freshman goalkeeper Lily Libby Giuliano blocked three shots in her third shootout of the season. This matchup concluded the 2016 Muhlenberg women's soccer season and had a great night honoring its seven seniors. The men's soccer team also came up with a win this past weekend against your sinus, defeating the Bears 3-0. The team honored its seniors with a ceremony before the game and all seven of these meals started. With the goals scored by Pete Luther, Anthony Carasino, and Brian Heckman, the Muhlenberg men's soccer team saved its best game of the season for last. Luther finished the season with a team high of seven goals and three assists, tying him for the fourth most goals in the entire Centennial Conference. Overall, the Mules outshot your sinus 14-11 in the match. 
Next up, the Nuremberg field hockey team fell short to your sinus with a 2-0 loss in their first Centennial Conference setback of the season. The 12th ranked Mules needed a win or a loss by one in order to earn the top seed in the conference playoff. Instead, the Mules would be the second seed and prepare to play third seed Franklin and Marshall in the away semifinal game next Saturday. Lastly, the Muhlenberg volleyball team ended its regular season by splitting a pair of matches at Eastern. The Mules defeated Lycoming in four sets after falling to the team in three. The Mules are set as the fourth seed and will host FNM in the first round playoff match on Wednesday. Freshman Madison Forrest hit seven kills in 11 attempts and sophomore Shannon Hubert with nine kills and 13 tries. Hubert had 46 assists to add to her 1500 career record and this will move her into third place on the program's single season hit list. Senior Elizabeth Garrison totaled 24 digs in the two matches and became the fourth Muhlenberg player with at least 500 digs in one season. Don't miss the Mule take on Franklin and Marshall tomorrow at 7 p.m. in Memorial Hall. Thank you and now over to Heather with the weather. Thanks guys. Starting off this week's forecast, we have Thursday. There'll be showers, a high of 70, a low of 42, and an 80% chance of rain. Moving into Friday, it's very sunny, high of 51, low of 34, and a 0% chance of rain. Moving into the weekend on Saturday, it's mostly sunny, a high of 58, a low of 40, and a 10% chance of rain. On Sunday, we have partly cloudy, high of 58, low of 38, and a 10% chance of rain. Going into... Going into Monday, it's sunny with a high of 62, a low of 37, and a 10% chance of rain. On Tuesday, it's partly cloudy, high of 60, low of 42, and a 10% chance of rain. Finally, on Wednesday, it's mostly sunny, a high of 58, low of 41, and 0% chance of rain. Back to you guys. All right, thank you. That's all we have for NBC News today. Again, we're your hosts, Ashley Amadeo and Alyssa Kratz. Have a great week, Nuremberg.